Hi, welcome back to Engineering Drawing. I am your Dr. Vasu. We are going to see a very typical problem in the line inclined to both the planes. And we see a different concept here. Suppose one line is in the plane perpendicular, which is perpendicular to a plane, perpendicular to both HP and VP. Got it? It is called a profile plane. Assume a plane which is perpendicular to HP, also VP. Then how it will be? If you see this line in the side view, it will be, the line will be, the plane appears to be a plane in the side view. Okay? So only you can see the that plane in the side view. And if you see it in the front view or top view, it appears like a line. Okay? You got it? It, it, that line will be perpendicular to both uh, the, that reference line. Okay. Now, suppose we have a line AB 90 mm long is inclined at 40 degrees to HP and 50 degrees to VP. Why I said the typical is, if you sum up these angles, this is theta and phi, that is 90 degrees. Whenever you have this theta plus phi is equal to 90 degrees, then that line will be in this profile plane or a plane which is perpendicular to both HP and VP. Okay. So, to understand this, let us see this in the side view. Suppose we are looking at this, uh, these two planes, reference planes from the side, from our left side. What happens? This is a horizontal plane here appears like this and vertical plane. Okay. Now, if you draw under this reference line appears like a point here in the side view. Okay. Now, take a line here. A line drawn something like this, touching both the HP and VP. Suppose if this angle is uh, theta, automatically how much will be this angle? Because this angle is 90, this angle will be automatically 90 minus theta. That means if this angle is the 30, this will be 60. If this is a 10, this is 80. Because in a triangle, this appears like a triangle and this is a, the in, total included angle is 180 degrees. This is 90. So the remaining two, sum of these two must be 90. So if this is 30, this is 60, this is 40, this is 50. If this is 50, this will be 40. So like this, we get a so, this is a very typical problem and it's one end A is in HP. So, I call this point as a A here. Okay. I call this point as A and this as B. And when you draw the first, draw a horizontal line here. Okay. Draw a line at 40 degrees angle. Okay. Draw this line at 40 degrees angle. And this is 19 mm. Okay, because we know that this point A is in the horizontal plane. And when you actually draw this, the second end will be the end B is in VP. If you have taken initially the vertical plane somewhere here like this, we don't know where whether it touches it or not. So for that sake, we do one thing. First, let's draw only horizontal plane and draw this line at 40 degrees angle, which is of 90 mm. Now we know that second end of this point B. We know that this point B is in VP, vertical plane. So passing through this point, draw a perpendicular, which is perpendicular to HP here, a vertical line. What happens? This point will be in VP. So A, one point is in HP, other end is in VP. So here, the if you see the angles, this is 40, this is 50. So, the sum of these two angles are 90 degrees. Now, here is A and B. Suppose, when you are seeing this line in the front view, in this front, front view appears in this direction. When you see this in the front view, this line, this line appears to be of this much height in the front view only. Because when you see this line, even though it is 90, it appears only this much in the front view. 
So I call this height, this as P, small p. When you see this line from the top, it appears like uh, this much long, right? And that is here. This is Q. That means when you see this line, even though it is 90 degrees, when you see this in the front view, it appears less and it is a P. When you see this from the top, it appears again less than 90 and appears Q. Q length only. So now on knowing this, we will draw the problem here. Take the reference line x, y and point A is in the horizontal plane. That means its front view is on the reference line. A dash is taken on the reference line. And because this uh, uh, some of these two angles is 90 degrees, this line is lying in the profile plane or a plane which is perpendicular to both the HP and VP. And the projections of this line will be perpendicular to the reference line. Both the projections will be perpendicular to the reference line. Let us see how. So A is in the horizontal plane. So A dash is on the reference line. Next. Take this uh, Q. When you see this in the top U, right? Point A is, right? A is how much? At a in front of VP. By how much distance? Q distance. Well, we have marked Q here. Okay. At this Q distance, mark this point A top U. That is A here. This is A A dash. Right. Next. Coming to the top U. When you see this in the top U, point B top U will be on the reference line. When you are looking from the top, point B will be on the, its top view is on the reference line. So point B is marked here. And when you are looking in the front view, okay, when you are looking in the front view, this point B dash is at this height P in the front view. So from here, we mark a point here on this line at a distance of P. So this is point B dash. That is, when you are looking in the front view, B appears above the reference line. So B dash is at a height of P, P distance. So B dash is marked. So how you how is this? A dash, B dash is the final front view and this AB is the final top view. These two lines appears like a perpendicular line which is perpendicular to the reference line. So this is a very typical problem and we can solve this whatever may be the angles. But remember one thing, whenever you get the sum of this theta plus phi as 90 degrees, definitely the line projections will be, final end projections will be perpendicular to the reference line always. So these are the projections of the line here. So hope uh, you had understood this problem very well. If you have any queries, do comment, do like, share and subscribe. Thank you.